Hey, what's going on? Matthew Taming here with another Joomla review and demo. Today, we're going to take a look at the Balboa Joomla Forms Builder. This is my go to forms builder that I'm using to create amazing things. You can create professional forms, uh, has so many features with it. So, we're going to take a look uh, at some of the features that it has to offer, and then we'll take a look at the showcases that you can use or you can do with it. And then we're going to take a look at the back end of it, how you can actually build those things. So, you want to go over to balboa.com and then you go to forms to be able to grab this. I highly recommend it. I recommend you get the pro version. The free version is okay for you to get started with, but the pro version has all the bells and whistles, and it's only $28 too. So, head over there right now and just grab it if you want, want it to even follow along. So let's take a look at what this thing has to uh, offer. So first you have the editor. Now the editor is a key part when you're building forms. This uses a drag and drop builder. So you don't have to code anything. You can just drag things at different places, different sections to, uh, to build it. And you have some ready to go templates. As you're going to see in the back end, ready to go templates allow you to just use existing templates and just tweak them to your liking. Okay. So you can drag and drop things different places here. That's a great thing to go. Ready to go templates, it saves you time. So if you're in a rush, you want to get a form up and going within a few minutes, you can use their pre made templates and just customize it. So next, let's take a look at the design. You can build amazing designs with this. I've used it, I use it, and it is my go to forms builder. That's why I'm even recommending it to you because I know the power that this thing has. You can use find awesome icons, you can use images, you can truly build something you know powerful with it. And let's take a look next now at the layout. You have advanced types of layouts. You can display form with a pop-up. So in other words, when you, you have what's called triggers, when people do certain activity is going to trigger something or you can have the form just pop up when they click on a button it's going to pop up you have multi-page if you wanted to do like a percentage here where you want to process orders right so you want to take it from step one to step three to completion this is another great way for you to do so whether you want to do surveys and with the service you can have the first page and then they go to the next page and it can show them what percentage that they're on so if you have like a five page uh, form survey or order system is going to show them how far they are to get into the 100%. So that's another cool thing too. And then you have multi-column, which allows you to, you know, have multiple columns like you see, you can have two, three, and even four. And let's take a look at the logic. The logic fills, it's a key part of this. Now, what this means is that if you have someone say that want to purchase, um, uh, a, a certain type of chair, for example, right? What this is going to do is you can put all this info on the back end. Once they click on the chair that they want, it's going to suggest other ones based on their selection. And this is unlimited. So if they choose, like you see right here, they have this chair or the couch, they click on it, it's going to suggest another one. If they choose this one, you wanted to add other options. So it's pretty much just going to show things specifically based on selections that they make. So if they give a certain response, you can give them a predetermined or pre-written answer for that. That's really great too, because you can use that for quizzes. You can use that too for like a directory. And when it comes to payment, it has a beautiful e-commerce store in there. You can also use this as a shopping cart. I do have a course that teaches you how to use this as a shopping cart, how to build a shopping cart with this uh, extension. You do the calculations, it shows you how much it's going to be. And then finally you have different integrations for the payment. And it pretty much integrates with all the major players or players that you use in whatever country that you are. So you whether you're using Stripe or mobile or PayFast or you know any one of these, you could have integrated to with MailChimp with get response, with PDF submission, all of these as Zoho CRM, you can integrate with all those there. And again, it's only $28 for the form and this is a lifetime. Okay, so this is something that you definitely wanna be able to grab now if you want to build any forms, which as a business owner, you're gonna build forms because you need them. So let's take a look at the showcase. The showcase shows you how the forms look and the types of forms you can build. Now, one of the reasons why I love the Balboa forms, there's a lot of other Joomla forms out there. The reason why this is my go-to, one of the reasons is that I love their design. It is so simple and so clean. Other form builders, 
the functionality is there, but I, I have a thing for design. So this one has a great functionality as well, but I just love, love that design. So you see how beautiful this form is. Put their name, you know, put in their phone number based on their country. So if you have people that are filling forms from different countries, you can set this up on the back end and they can put it there and it just automatically just works, you know, works this way. Next, you go over to the sh uh, shopping cart form. So if you wanted to build a simple shopping cart, you don't want to invest a whole lot of money to building something complex. You want to process a few orders. Maybe you got a few items that you want to sell. Well, this is another great way for you to do so your chairs, you can anything here. You see that to highlight. And then once you check this, it automatically calculates that for you. And if you want to include, you know, pickup, you know, shipping, you can do that here as well. So this is something that I love is you add is going to add based on whatever options that someone chooses here. So they can just keep going. Uh, I use this form again. This is my go to. And then you have the calculators here. So you have a rent calculator. You have a mortgage. You have a car loan. You have a uh, subscription calendar. So I'm going to click on subscription calendar. So you can choose here the type that someone wants to use. And you can choose the personal based on what they choose. They can choose the purchase date. So that's one. That's the rent calculator. Now this one to calculate the rent. So if you want to set like a, a hotel or a motel or just some of people rent like a property, people can be able to come in, calculate their cost, and they can pay right on on your site. As we have a mortgage calculator, you can set all these things on the back end, and you have a car loan calculator as well. So you can check out the car loan, the interest rates, you know how much they're looking to value the vehicle, and how long that's going to be. So all this stuff here works based uh, on the inputs that you have, how many months. So this automatically does that for you. Okay. So if you have a car loan, you want to calculate some things here, initial deposit. It's going gonna, it's gonna to show you what that figure is. And then you have the conditional logic field, as I mentioned before. So you put your name, your phone number, and then you put the time that you want to call. It's going to make those adjustments for the callback uh for that and then you have the multi page if you want to do a quiz you can do a quiz so based on what they select it chooses you know the answers for them and this is something too that's really great you know for quizzes and then you have here your beauty salon you can set up if you have a simple shop you want to you know clients your services they can choose they can choose their booking so i'll just put something here i was going to make up any numbers no nope. Just going to make up any numbers right here just to fill this out. And just so you see how that looks. And then you click on next. Well, I got to, well, I didn't put in the right numbers. And I guess whatever country I'm, I guess that's, um, yeah, whatever country that is, uh, I got to put in. But anyway, you get the idea. So let's move on to the product feedback. You can collect feedback from your clients, your staff about different things let them know how you feel about it you know and you click next you get the ideas you get opinions whatever you do all that stuff there and then you go to pop up form on click someone clicks this it's going to pop up you go to online booking for you have hotel you have restaurant you have taxi reservation so if you want to book like a hotel booking they can choose their dates they can choose their time and they could even pay directly on the site and then you have application form for jobs. People fill this out. They can put their resume. They can choose their position that they're going for. They can choose their start date, the type of salary that they're looking for. And then you have the Google Sheets, you know, integration here with this, which a lot of people, you know, if you use Google, then you can integrate with that. You can also do polls. You can do polls with images. You know, you can choose which one is best and you get people's feedback to vote on there. So with the form builder now, there's a lot of things that you can do here. Um, you can be able to put your mouse over here and you can drag things around. But before you drag things around, you want to be able to make, you can drag different items here. But if I try to drag, you don't see anything happen. That's because I have to add a row. So I click here and I click on add new row. And when I add the new row, then I can just drag this over. It gives this pop up and I can make whatever changes that I need to. I can modify the column one, two or three. Keep it at that. Then I can be able to choose to edit. I can choose different options here. I'm just going to go through this just so you see how it works. 
But you see this is drag and drop. This is the radio. That goes, you can choose multiple selection. You can choose a slider, you know, for different fills here. You can choose a rating if you want to. As we saw right there. So you can just drag and drop things over. I'm just showing you how easy it is for you to drag, drag and drop. And you can edit each item when you click on it. You just go to edit. You can edit each item here. You can go to the general. You know, you can make each section required. Uh, then you choose acceptance. So I'm just going through terms and condition. So that's how simple it is. Now let's go over to integration. You click on integration here. It shows you the different types of uh, things that you can integrate. You can integrate uh, AC mailing, active campaigns to check out different payment forms, Google Drive, Get Response. You can integrate uh, so many things here. You know, if you want to accept payments, and then you have your emailing, you have your mapping. You can use Google Maps. You have other. You have your payment processor, so you can integrate in your payment processor here. So if you wanted something, you just click on this one and then you put your API key, your secret, your return, and that can be done that way. And then let's see, let's go over. This is the conditional logic. This is where you can be able to add new rules. I'm not going to go over this because you have to add new rules based on what they select. It's going to recommend the next thing down. And then here you have your media manager. And let's go over to the templates first. So this is a part that I use often if I wanted to get something up and going quickly. Uh, let's say I want to create a contact this form and I don't want to build it from scratch. I can just click here and not choose any one of these forms that will work for what I need to be done. I can go to application and I can choose whatever application that I need to be done. And I can go over here for the booking. I can choose whatever booking that I need. I can go to order. So all of these are things that you have at your fingertips. You can be able to use once you choose any one of these, then you can be able to customize them. So you just have to double click on it and it's going to populate it for you. Um, and then there you go. And then it shows you can just kind of go through here and then just click on each one and you make whatever necessary changes that you need to make uh, for this part. And you can have your forms up and going literally uh, within minutes. Once you understand the core parts of it, how things work, you can do that. You have auto completion for the address, too. Uh, so it offers you a lot. It gives you so many things and everything that you need to be able to build incredible forms. So head over right now to Balboa.com. And since it's Black Friday, then you know, they have this 40 percent off. So you definitely want to grab this. Get the pro version. The free version is OK. But if you're going to use this in a professional level in terms of more features $28 man it's it's not that that expensive so grab it right now